This week we've come to Club KO Gym in Buckhurst Hill to see IBF super middleweight champion James Degal. And I said this last week, let's get in, I'm freezing. Man. Come on, let's get inside. So and Darren have come down to Buckhurst Hill in the KO Gym where super middleweight champion James Degal and his trainer Jim McDonald are joining us. Um, James, how's things going, mate? Good, all good, Spence. Just uh, training and waiting for this next day. But uh, should know in the next couple days, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, it's been good. Any, any, any ideas of opponents? So it looks like some mandatory. Uh, I can't say his name again, it's like that's a mad long name, but he's a Venezuelan, <laughs> he's pretty dangerous, he's had 25 fights, he's 124, he's knocked out 21, and he's only lost against Matt Korobov. So, uh, it's, it's, it's a, yeah, it's, it's a tough, tough night, but listen, you know me, I'm confident. We'll be here way. in England. Well, it's what we're trying to work out. So I should know in the next couple of days, Al Heyman and Eddie Hearn are getting together, and hopefully it could be on the 9th, if not the 9th of April on the Joshua Bill, it's at the end of April in America. So Can't you get us a nice little trip, get us in Vegas or something? No, I know. Do you know what? I'm, I'm not joking, just jumping in here. That's all he wants to do is go away. <laughs> Since he's retired, he's like, yeah, right, we've got this one. Do Martinez in Argentina. Like and then yeah. when, what, you go, work on the when you go, we've got to go down to fuck her still to do James Lett, <laughs> you go, fuck her still. Is that it? <laughs> Can't we get him? Anyway, in? anyway, <laughs> how's it looking, Jim? Yeah, obviously James is like, just waiting for the day for him, just ticking over at the moment, really, just getting yeah, back yeah. in. Um, not, not like looking to break no records at the moment, just slowly it'll build up. But as soon as we start building momentum, he'll be, he'll be back in and come fight. Like I said to him, enough now, we, we always set new goals for every fight, and this fight won't be different. So. Let's go right back to the beginning. So, where, where you two met, how long have you been training, how long have you been training, James? Uh, uh, like yeah, since you turned pro, since James done one session. Oh, you're right there, man. It's a team right here, the A yeah. team. Trust well, we were yeah. all the same, actually, weren't yeah. we? I had Tony from, yeah. from the start. You had Jack from the yeah. start. Yeah. 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 It's important, isn't it? It's rare as well. It's it's rare. Rare. That law yeah. as well. Yeah. That yeah. point. Like I say, Jim's more than a coach. Yeah. Family, you know what I'm I saying? was going to say, that's, that's the sort of relationship you two have got in it. It's like, it's like father son, is yeah, it? Yeah, and think. Say brothers, Jim. I mean, what do you prefer? The granddad. You know what? It's, it's true because, like in boxing, you like with relationships in trainers, coaches, and that. Look over years. The most successful, if you look at it for long term, back to the days of Muhammad Ali, to name one, to Floyd Mayweather of today. It's always, it's always, it's normally the, the one you started with. You normally have the best success when yeah. you look at the champions over the years. And it's that word that Darren used a minute ago. It's like loyalty and trusting each other. Because what happens with a lot of fighters when they get beat? The first person who goes is a trainer. It's never a promoter. Never a promoter, it's never a manager, it's always a trainer. Because uh, that's always the closest person in that relationship. And then I look back on my career, like really, I only had basically the same training for the whole career, and it's, yeah. it's, it's the best way to do it. Yeah. I mean, you've trained some great fighters over the years. I mean, been, been a top trainer now for, for over a decade. James Degal, is that, is that be your, your best achievement? Yeah, I think when you look at um, all the guys, you can go back to OBI winning the world title, go back to different guys who've got to it. I think the difference with James is, like, he has actually created a legacy in, in the sport for what he's achieved. Like, one, he's coming to it as the most decorated amateur that you, you can ever get. And then to create history like he did, and not just to create history, I don't think James ever had a squeeze as a professional fighter. There's a lot of fighters Blushing. who've gone in there. But with, <laughs> with James, I'm the biggest fan of boxing of Andre yeah. Durrell. The guy's outstanding. Yeah. And to yeah. change the box in his own backyard and do what he done. Do you know what he's been? It's like, Unbelievable. it feels like, I don't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I do get my credit, especially now, but I ain't, just think, I won an Olympic gold medal here, the yeah. biggest show on earth. In my ninth fight, I won a British title against Paul Smith, yeah. right? A fight after that, I boxed Groves, yeah, I lost. In my next very fight, I boxed a European title, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they forget where he fought for the Europeans. So check his yeah, record. Yeah. Will Chesky was an awesome fight. After, after I had a bad, I had a very, very bad patch. I was depressed. Yeah. Obviously, the loss to Groves killed me, hurt me. Yeah. But I built back. I worked my way back. Ended up boxing for a world title against a good quality fighter in Durrell. Wow. I ended up beating him. Yeah. Yeah. In my first defense, I went to Canada. I defended my title in Canada on the show. Pressure on that fight as well right. against you, I went there. Well, what, I think there was pressure, oh, there was big pressure there. Yeah, yeah. massive. Listen, he was, 
a rejuvenated, like, he was rejuvenated, he was fresh. It, I, I've never seen Boots so, like, on it, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was yeah. pushing the fight, he looked in great shape. Yeah. But it just shows you how good I am, like, the way If I you, um, Olympic gold medal or world title for you, what is the more important? That's so hard, that's so hard. Obviously, they're the top of both, aren't they? Yeah. It's the pinnacle, but... Uh, I, I think that would be easy for me if you ask me that question, because with the world title comes a load of dough, and with the Olympic title, it well, doesn't. I don't know, I, don't, I, don't know. I struggle yeah. to answer. Uh, do you know what, Spets? I think it would be the world, the world, the world title, because yeah. I remember growing up and, and watching the likes of Prince Nadine Hamid going to America and yeah, win his world yeah, title. Yeah. Mm. So for me to do it, you know what it feels like yeah. when you've done it. Mm. So to go there and do it, and had the whole country and the family so proud of him, well, that was unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Away days are always good as well, aren't they? Yeah, yeah okay. you're away from home. It's nice to defend it in England, I suppose, yeah. or whatever, but an away when days. Away, but it shows, yeah. I suppose, the calibre of fighter you are. You're yeah. on the road, your first defence yeah. as well, bang, yeah. you know. So what, you're in the lines then. What about future ambitions? Is, is there any, any move up to light heavyweight, you know, would that be a... Well, I'm making make 12 stone spents pretty easy. Yeah. So, I want to be the best, the number one at Super Mino. Yeah. So once I won a couple more titles, I will be number one, as I say, I'll get through this mandatory first, and then I'll probably box Buddy Jack for the WBC as well. You will buy the titles. That's that's what I want to do. Ring, ring magazine. The ring, that's oh, it, that's man. I want to be the best in the division. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it's about for me. So, uh, yeah, I just want to be the best at Super Mino way, and then you never know. Uh, what you about. Obviously, we were saying they touched it before about Groves having that win over here. Does that fit into your plans, Groves? Not really. No. Not really at all. Listen, if the boxing fans want to see that, I'm willing to do it. Do you but know what? It's I'm, I'm pretty easy. Yeah. I can live with him beating me and me going on to be yeah, world yeah. champion, earning yeah. money, and you know what I'm saying, making a name for myself. He's. Jim always said the cream always rises, mm. and look what's happened. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes yeah, man. a loss. Yeah. I suppose mind, if yeah. there's is. A different kettle of fish. If he brings, if he brings his hand to the table, there's another yeah. world title. You know, whatever happens, you know. Listen, he thinks, he thinks I need him. This is unbelievable. <laughs> the guy is deluded. He thinks I'm doing. The guy's off the plot. <laughs> so, Jim, listen, I've got. To, I've, I'll get a quick something. I've got to get a quick something. Excuse me one sec. Oh, you straight. We've been doing a little bit of research. A little bit of research <laughs> on Jimmy Mac. There's only one Jimmy Mac. <laughs> all that. Do you want me to explain that? You don't know about this, do no, you, James? No, I don't know. Well, Jake, Jim, explain that. Explain that little. So this is a, a Jimmy Mac portable personal trainer DVD. <laughs> With this, you got to hear the music in the background. It's beautiful. I Jimmy know, yeah. Mac. Jimmy <laughs> Mac will get you in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's it? What's it about? You're wondering where I got that from. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Because you know what? I remember. Um, Part of, part of the thing doing stuff on that. Like, people don't realise I've had a number one hit in the charts. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking serious. Yeah? You just check, check the record rise. Yeah? And you'll see. Yeah? And that was all part of the same time, the same uniform. They were, all went top of the pops and they'd done it. If you check the record out with uh, Gabrielle, you just check it. I've seen Rise. Yeah, it's all in there. It's all in there. So it was the number one hit. So it went to number one. So it's, it's legit. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so if anyone gets a chance, that's the DVD you need to be getting. Jimmy Mac. And in the back you hear Jimmy Mac. Jimmy Mac. That's a poor word of bank. Literally. But listen, guys, we don't want to hold you up anymore. I know you've got your training to do, James. We're gonna we're gonna catch a little bit of that, but. Pleasure mate, best of luck in the future. Jim, as always mate, it's been brilliant.